Mark's Back to Comics, and I'm back. This time with my last comic book haul for 2020. Um, I thought that my previous one was going to be my last comic haul, but I actually had a little bit of time this week uh, to do some hunting. So uh, if you want to see what I picked up for the uh, last haul of the year, stick around. So welcome back. Hopefully everyone had a good holiday, good Christmas with their friends and family. Um, I, I sure as hell did. You know, got some great gifts, spent some time with the family, which, you know, for the most part, some of the family members I hadn't spent some time with, um, obviously due to the pandemic. But um, I had a great time. Hopefully you guys all had a great time as well. Um Actually, one of the cool gifts I got was uh, today when I went to hang out with a couple of friends. Got this uh, big mug here. Filled it up with some beer. Actually, put two beers in here, which is actually really nice. Uh, now I can drink like four. <laughs> but um, like I said I uh, ended up picking up some books uh, yesterday. I went to... Uh, a local antique shop slash flea market and uh, did a little bit of digging for about an hour picked up about uh, seven books didn't didn't break the bank whatsoever I spent I think one of ten dollars ten and change something like that so uh, some of these books are a little bit of spec one of them was really hard to find and uh, I'm just going to start showing them off but uh, if you haven't already please don't forget to like share and subscribe I'm still doing my Road to 500 contest. Have about 22 ish or so people to join the channel, you know, and then we can do the uh, giveaway. So uh, tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. It only takes a little click. Um, so, starting off with the first, first few books, actually, it was a set I picked up, a set for four bucks. Um, ended up getting. Peacemaker issue number one. Got two copies. Also, they had, like I said, the set there. So they had issues two, three, and four. Some pretty cool covers. Um, like I said, look at the, like this cover in particular is pretty neat. Uh, cover it says war <laughs> uh, like I said I picked them up uh, for five bucks total uh, the four set was uh, four bucks and then the uh, another single for a buck a piece and uh, if you're not familiar with those books it's um, so there's a little bit of rumors that John Cena is cast as Peacemaker in the uh, upcoming Suicide Squad movie and supposedly there's going to be like a six episode solo uh, TV series on HBO Max. Obviously that uh, is not the first appearance of Peacemaker. Um, that book is actually in, I want to say the Silver Age? From, uh, what's that book? I want to say it's Fighting 5, issue number 40. Um, but this is... Uh, the mini series. So uh, if you find these in the dollar bins, pick them up. You know, it's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty good. Actually, I'm gonna take a read. I've never read it. It's a pretty good read, from what I've heard. But I'm gonna read it myself. Um, I don't believe there's an actual first appearance in there. Actually, no. Actually, before I check, there is a first appearance in there. I wrote it down. It's the uh, first Wolfgang Schmidt. So it's the Peacemaker's father. And it's also the first team appearance of Project Peacemaker. So, all right, there is some little minor uh, key appearance in there. But um, looked them up recently on uh, eBay. The uh, last uh, set sold for like 20 bucks, And that was on, I think that was on the 25th. So that's a real recent sale. So uh, pretty, pretty nice pickup there for the price. Um, next book I picked up, actually... I keep on running into this book here at the at that antique shop, and I, from the same vendor, he had two more copies of this, and uh, this is Blood Syndicate, number one. This is the collector's edition, as you can see, the polybagged edition. 
two copies of that, pick them up for a buck a piece. And um, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll just take one of these and get it sent out to grading. This is, I don't know, it's, it's a cool character. You know, I know these milestone uh, books from uh, DC have uh, quite the uh, following. Um, I had, uh, I want to say, an icon number one that was the preview to Static. Static Shock, that character. There's also those other milestone number ones. There's Hardware number one, Icon number one, Blood Syndicate number one, and Static number one. Um, but pretty cool books to pick up. You see the, the poly bag, if you look at it on this, hearts in a, in a handgun. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. And uh, there is a minor uh, first appearance there, and it's the uh, first team appearance of Blood Syndicate. Uh, which the team itself comprises of uh, uh, Brick House, Fade, uh, Y Sun, Tech Nine, Flashback, Holocaust, and DMZ. So uh, those books raw sell for around like ten bucks shipped, and uh, a recent nine eight sold for one thirty, and that was just um, a couple of days ago. Um, the cool book I actually was surprised to pick up there was uh, this book right here, Ewoks, issue number 10. This is a really cool book. I've been looking around for these um, 80th, you know, the, the 80s Marvel anniversary covers. And when I find them, I try to pick them up. Ewoks number 10 is actually one of the hardest ones to find out there. I want to say it's probably like top three when it comes to these uh, border covers to find them out there. Where I think Care Bears, that Care Bears uh, border cover is the hardest one to find. This is probably number two and number three. Um, I was really surprised to find this for 50 cents. There's nothing key about it. It's just because it's uh, at that 80, you know, not the 80s, but the, the 80s anniversary border cover is what makes this hard. Um, there are two versions of it. There is the direct edition here with the star and uh, there's a new stand. I believe this came out in 85 so neither one is harder or less produced than the other but um, this book um, like I said is the Marvel's 25th anniversary since Fantastic Four number one was published in 61 so that's they, they did that for the month of November and um, price wise it's all over the place um, I want to say roughly selling around the 20 to $35 range. Um, nothing high grade or graded stuff recently sold. So I don't know where, where on that, that is in particular, but the, uh, the raws are selling right on the 20 to $35 range. And, uh, the last book, um, as you all know, Star Wars is, is uh, rather hot, you know, um, Obviously, with the Mandalorian wrapping up and then the Disney investors meeting that just came out saying that all of well, like 10 different Star Wars uh, Disney Plus shows will be coming out in the future. Essentially, anything Star Wars is has picked up a lot of steam. Uh, I was surprised to find this book here. Don't think there's anything, you know, speculative on it, but it is a number one. And this is Star Wars Crimson Empire 2, uh, Volume 2, Issue Number 1. I just thought it was a neat cover. You know, love these red covers. It says on there, The Council of Blood. Um, did a little bit of searching. I don't know if there's a first appearance. I saw somewhere that it was the first appearance of Nam Anner. Um, maybe somebody can correct me on that. I have no clue. But this was... Uh, Basically, cover price. I paid uh, three bucks for it. You know, and it's not a near mint, but it's um, still in rather nice condition. But um, just a cool cover, you know. And uh, that's the last book I picked up there at the uh, antique shop. So uh, that's pretty much it. It's my last uh, last comic haul for the year. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, hit that thumbs up. So uh, let me know in the comments down below uh, if they were good pickups. If they were, cool. If not, let me know why. 
Uh, but until next time, it's Mark Spectre Comics. Out.